You don't think that Ted Cruz felt that way about CNN? You don't think that, that George W. Bush did? You don't think that uh, Carly Fiorina did when she was yeah. smoking Katie Couric and they were trying to say that she was this failed CEO yep. at HP, right, yeah. but she understands economics that they don't? Of course they do, but for some reason they feel the need to sort of cloak it through politeness. Donald Trump just, no, yep. no. Wrong. You're wrong. Awesome. <laughs> Fake news, you suck. And I think that's refreshing yeah. to people because a lot of people have been streaming at their TV set going, why isn't someone just calling out on this? Yeah. You know, the media, um, they're always telling us that Trump is a liar. Mm -hmm. But then you sort of contrast that with the fact that many Americans, I don't know if it's most Americans, but certainly a significant portion, they see him as a straight shooter. That's yeah. one of the major mm -hmm. selling points. Uh, they see him as more authentic than most politicians. What, what do you think it is? I, I want to make my case here, so stay with me for a little bit. Um, let me set this up so you understand where I'm going, yeah. because this is going to upset likely everybody, and I'm okay with it, Probably. as long as you... <laughs> take this in its, in its entirety, the context. I think he's a little from column A, a little from column B, okay? Uh, I think he's a little from column A in that he's, he's most definitely a bullshit. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. But a little from column B in that I think he's much more authentic than the sort of trained, empty suit politicians. Yeah. And I think that column B matters more. And the way that you can tell at least is my opinion, that he's more genuine, is for the same reasons that a lot of people might hate him. You can identify the authenticity in Trump through the things that he disdains. Yeah. He can't hide the things <laughs> yeah. that he hates. No. He has no filter, it seems. <laughs> no, I think that's an important litmus test yeah. here. People hate him because they're like, ah, oh, he's just tweeting all the time. Look at all yeah. the things that he says. Well, mm -hmm. that's why I don't think he would be able to hide yeah. and play the game. Yeah. Right. Now, for, let's also go to something else. Like, let's let's throw into the mix ass okay? Yeah. <laughs> Let me give you this. Donald Trump, President Donald it's Trump yeah. can yeah. definitely come across, at, scratch that, he is an ass. Yes. Yeah. Yep. There's no doubt about that. Very unlikable at times. But I think everyone kind of agrees that, like, well, okay, at least he's our ass. Yeah. That's what people think. Like, at least he's. <laughs> because let's be honest here. What's the alternative at this point? Yeah. Yeah. Elizabeth Warren, Pete Buttigieg, Beto O'Rourke. I mean, think about it. The, the lesbian with assholes. the dreadlocks that's getting Shane Gillis fired from <laughs> SNL. Yes. And, and I want to be clear. I'm not, I'm not saying that it's a good thing for people to be a, an a hole. Yeah. Th there are plenty of people who aren't a holes. Okay. That's the majority of America. Unfortunately, they don't run for president. <laughs> Yeah. Most of the time. <laughs> right. But with the left, when you have the Pete, the Pete Butt gigs, the Elizabeth Warrens, e even the Bernie Sanders is, 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 it's, it's assholery disguised as empathy. Yes. Right? And, I, and that's, the, that's why I think people see him as authentic. You know, Donald Trump, people might get mad at him because he could say something to the equivalent of, this isn't a direct quote, but, you know, I, listen, right. I think this American dream is alive. You should stop being lazy. If you want to text, if you want to text the rich more, go screw yourself, okay? They already pay plenty. That's that's pretty much it. Yeah, but then exactly. you have someone like Pete Buttigieg who says that you should get with, you know, you should get with the times. I don't have the exact quote in front of me. I'm free-flowing this a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should get with the times if you're uncomfortable with the language that's being taken away from you, if you're uncomfortable with the government intruding into your life. We're, we're, basically, I'm going to bully you into my point of view. And it's just ass disguised as empathy. Yeah, and I think that pisses a lot of people off because we don't think politicians have any genuine bones in their body. We right. know what they right. believe and what they're saying, and then they go out into the media and they say something that sounds much more pliable, right? Yes. Like it's much more easy to take, and you're like, that's not what you believe. I think that's why so many people gravitate towards Trump is because he's kind of genuine. It's like, yeah. oh, he's a real ass. Right. I can see it, and he's not trying to hide <laughs> right. it. Right. And, and people yeah. all, like, we're all supposed to be offended, but everyone goes, like, well, when I talk about someone, I'm pretty, like, pissed off about like yeah. my neighbor yeah. my neighbor who doesn't you know keep his stuff on the other side of the fence i probably feel similarly to how trump feels about the new york times yes yeah. and so you can see yourself <laughs> in that person just like all great storytelling yeah. it's about seeing yourself seeing the facet yeah. of your character yeah. in somebody else and um I, I think this is important also to delineate what you just said too is politicians are trying to think about what they believe i don't think trump right. necessarily knows what he believes on every issue You've seen him change yeah. on some issues, Seems but like I think he knows what he hates. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He does. and he's he very, does. very clear about that. And I don't mean he hates people. I mean ideas. I mean yeah. establishments. I mean institutions. And I think this is sort of what seems is kind of the Trump enigma because this is something that we talk about a lot. A lot of people go, "He's a compulsive liar. He's a bullshit." They will say, "I like that Trump sa says it like it is." And I think it's important to explore that because it's as though we're talking about the same person with two different conversations. I don't think that's the case. I don't think we're too far off here. I think people hate him for the same reason that people like him, and that he is yeah. a bullshit artist. Okay. So it's weird, though, to people to say, well, he's also authentic. Yeah. Two different things. Let me explain to you. We're, we're talking about what someone says, for example. Uh, he's a BS artist and that he's self-serving, Donald Trump. He can yeah. bend the truth, right, to maybe suit his own self-interest. That's different. Yeah. I think it's important. That's different from the essence of a human being, Yeah. who they are. And that's why Donald Trump is kind of a bullshit, but they see him as authentic. 
because they don't see him trying to disguise the things that he believes as empathy. So uh, let's let, let's use Beto O'Rourke as an example, okay? Yeah. People think he's compassionate, Beto O'Rourke. People think that he's compassionate and that he cares. Now, when, <laughs> Somehow, he, when Beto so O'Rourke terrible. is talking about a mandatory gun buyback, yeah. it's a confiscation. That's yeah. what he's talking about, okay? Let's be really clear about it. Beto O'Rourke disdains freedom. Now, I'm not attributing motive. When you're talking about someone who wants to forcibly remove guns from the American right. public. Yep. That is someone who disdains personal freedom, who disdains the Second Amendment, but he cloaks it as empathy and compassion. Donald Trump disdains the media, and he cloaks it as disdain for the media. <laughs> right. <laughs> in every tweet thread that he's ever yeah, done, pretty much. much. Right. There's, there's a big difference. So actually, I, I know we have this in a reverse order, but I would like to show for pe people who haven't seen this, yep. the Beto O'Rourke clip. Keep in mind before this, right, and all, 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 how many times have you heard the argument from the left? The left doesn't want to take your guns yeah, away. People yeah, are yeah. clinging to their Bibles and religions. That's not what they're talking about. They're talking about reasonable gun reform. Beto O'Rourke echoed those same sentiments. Now hear him to thunderous applause say the opposite of that. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15, your AK-47. We're not going to allow it to be used against our fellow Americans anymore. Thank you. Thank you. And I want to say this. And I'm listening to the people of this country. The day after I proposed doing that, I went to a gun show in Conway, Arkansas. To meet with those who are selling AR-15s and AK-47s, those who are buying the AR those weapons, semi-automatic weapons, AK-47s are there. originally Folks first said, fire I would weapons. willingly yeah. give that up, cut it to pieces. I don't need this weapon to hunt to defend myself. It is a weapon Ugh. of war. So let's do the right thing, but let's bring everyone in America into the conversation. Republicans, Democrats, right, gun owners. Yeah, that's all right. a great way to bring them in. Let's bring everyone into the conversation. The gun owners, we're going to take your guns. Let's bring everyone yeah. in here. But come on Can't in. Can't we find some common yeah. ground? Well, I don't know. Can I conceal carry? He's got a gun. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. By the way, I love the Second Amendment. Let's let's put oh, Donald man. Trump in that position. Donald Trump yeah. obviously supports the Second Amendment. He didn't always. And I think he has a bit of a shaky record on guns. But can you yes. imagine if Donald Trump believed what Beto O'Rourke believes about firearms, that he disdains, but he disdains the Second Amendment, he wants to have a mandatory buyback. Beto O'Rourke for a long time was saying, we don't want to take your guns. We respect the Second Amendment. We want reasonable gun control. But really, he believed in a mandatory buyback, in a gun yeah, confiscation. Yeah. Donald Trump, if he were in that position, if he, believed, he would say, listen, you people, are, you people are crazy. You shouldn't have guns, okay? Listen, we're gonna take them from you, okay? And I, I, frankly, you shouldn't have them. The only, the only reason you do, okay, is because of the NRA, which is pathetic, and their numbers are dwindling, <laughs> and we're going to destroy the NRA, okay? The pathetic beauty. That's what he would say. He wouldn't be able, I don't right. think he would be capable of lying and no. pulling yeah. that same bait and switch if he truly disdained firearms. Yeah. To the degree that Beto O'Rourke does. By the way, hit the notification bell for people who are out there. Uh, bookmark the page. We have a new video every single day, 9 o'clock uh, on YouTube, and uh, 8 p.m. is the, uh, the live stream. Now, I want to compare that, uh, for example. Beto O'Rourke can't stand firearms. He can't stand that you own a firearm that he yeah. describes as a weapon of war. I'd be shocked if he knew the difference between a fully automatic and a semi-automatic. Yeah. Compare, yeah. so yeah. compare that to the way President Donald Trump talks about his Second Amendment, which is the New York Times. The paper's going out of business. It's only a question of when. But it's the failing New York Times. And it probably won't even be around in a few years based on its financial outlook. Right. Okay. So that's wrong. Yeah, is it, I mean, no, is the New York Times I mean, going yeah. under? Probably, probably not. not. That's a little bit, bit of BSing. That's exaggerating, right? But what he actually believes is reflected there that the media is corrupt, that they hate him, that they're out to get him, that it's a witch hunt. There's no doubt about no. that. Yeah. No. And, and they are not doing well financially either, right? They're not that, doing they're, that they're well financially. Yeah. Industry. <laughs> but he does exaggerate. Yeah, exactly. He does. Yeah. That being said, think about this. I think that people need to sort of reflect on themselves for a little bit. It's a lot harder to hide something that you're upset about. You know, something that sort of sticks in your craw, yeah. thorn in your side, if you will, if I may. Uh, it's a lot harder you may. To, to, to disguise that than it is to say, oh, yeah, I, uh, I think uh, that dress looks great. <laughs> Cindy, it's easier to, the, to do that. Yeah. But if it's something yeah. that you really can't stand. If it's someone you, re for example, think of someone that you really don't want at Thanksgiving dinner, someone you, yeah. who's abusive, someone who's yeah. rude. How, how easy is it for you to lie to that person's face? Some people can. Not everybody can. Yeah. And President Donald Trump certainly is incapable of that. As we've seen. <laughs> Completely Look, unable. I mean, yeah. the guy is incapable of filtering himself on Twitter, which, by the way, has multiple checks and balances. Right, yeah. There's a spell check. 
Doesn't care. There's the, are you sure you want to send this tweet? There's, and I, I don't think oh, he ever man. actually reaches the point that says, do you want to save this tweet or discard for later? I don't right. think he ever has. He's like, yeah. said, Same. said, said, said. <laughs> I'll clarify Tucker's going to see this. Brian Kilmeade at Fox Morning. Listen, oh, okay. Now you're going to talk bad about me? I hate Fox and Friends. <laughs> it's so funny. I think, it's, I think he can be petty. Uh, I think he that can, he can be yeah, very yeah. sensitive. But I think there is some authenticity to that. And this is why people, again, when you look at how he's fought back against the media, listen, they've been, they were just as cruel with Ted Cruz or Carly oh, yeah. Fiorina or at one point Marco Rubio or despite what they try and say now, George W. Bush, which I think we just saw with the whole, with the whole Ellen debacle. Yeah. Right, yeah. People were saying, well, at least George W. Bush was a decent man. Donald Trump is the worst. There's no comparison. Yeah. Then Ellen was caught, my God, laughing with George yeah. W. Bush at a football game and said, hey, I think we should actually sit down with people we disagree with. And they said, how dare you sit down with a war criminal. This person should be in jail. George exactly. W. Bush is evil. They did the same thing with everybody. Now, you don't think for a second that George W. Bush or Ted Cruz, take your pick, you don't think that they were, they were livid? Right. They were pissed yeah. beyond belief and wanted to say, hey, New York Times, you're full of crap. You're a liar. You're dishonest. Yeah. You have a bias. And I don't think people need to necessarily listen to you. I don't think yeah. people should take you seriously. You don't think that Ted Cruz felt that way about CNN? You don't think that, that George W. Bush did? You don't think that uh, Carly Fiorina did when she was yeah. smoking Katie Couric and they were trying to say that she was this failed CEO yeah. at HP, right, yeah. but she understands economics that they don't? Of course they do. But for some reason, they feel the need to sort of cloak it through politeness, right? Yeah. They need to cloak it in this, this veil of politeness. Like, well, I understand why you're asking that question, but I disagree. Donald Trump just, no, yeah. no. Wrong. You're wrong. Awesome. <laughs> Fake news, you suck. And I think that's refreshing yeah. to people because a lot of people have been streaming at their TV set going, why isn't someone just calling out on this? Yes. And here's something else. Uh, it's not only that he's authentic about the things that he disdains. This is, I don't think, again, Donald Trump knows exactly what he believes, but he does know what he hates. And this is another, I think, picture-perfect example, or a counter-argument, rather, to people who accuse him of being a racist. Yeah. Listen. Donald Trump wants to build the wall. Yeah. Okay. He wants Mexico to pay for the wall. He wanted to put like spikes on the wall, which is hysterical. <laughs> yes. In a moat. Donald Trump, did you see when he just tweeted out the Democratic debates? He just tweeted out, boring. <laughs> That's so funny. He is the funniest president ever. He is, absolutely. Now, yes. what, he didn't sit down at his Twitter and, and, and talk with some consultants and clear it with three no. levels of yeah. people no. going like, okay, I believe that this like, is boring. an intellect, it lacks intellectual diversity at this DNA. <laughs> Boring. Which would all be accurate. He's just like, you suck. <laughs> boo, boo, bay do, boo. And that's why you know he's not a racist because he, uh, he wants the wall. Right? He goes, yeah. we're going to build a wall. It's going to be, and you know what? Mexico's going to pay for it. He hates MS 13. He goes, they're animals, these people, right? He can't stand Nancy Pelosi. Yeah. He thinks AOC is crazy. He's open about all of those things, but let's just take the wall as an example. Build a wall. Let's enhance our cybersecurity. Let's keep people out of this country. Let's boot people who are here illegally. Why, oh, why would he be oh so careful to stop it saying, and it's because they're filthy Mexicans? <laughs> yeah. If he yeah, felt I, that way, that's what he would say. He would absolutely say it, yes. That would be his equivalent to a gun confiscation. Same when people say he's a racist, all of his... Well, first off, you have to look at prison reform. You have to look at what Donald Trump has actually done for black oh, people. Yeah. Yeah. Look at his actions. He is. Ne show me any proof that Donald Trump has personally acted out of a racist malice. You won't be able to find it. And I know no. some people will find some, some people in his organizations who said that there were some... No, you'll never find it from Donald Trump. He gave Arsenio Hall the award for Celebrity Apprentice, yeah. and he really didn't deserve it. If Donald Donald Trump disdains something. He does. He is not. We have, or at least I should say this. We have not seen inability from him, any capacity whatsoever to fake it. <laughs> he can both the details, he can exaggerate in a way that's self-serving, but he cannot hide the truth. And in this case, I guess it would be appropriate. He cannot hide his truth. People yeah. use it all the time. I bet you even Donald, if someone said that to Donald Trump, people, like, yes, I like that. I like that. Your truth. My truth is boring. My truth is you suck. My uh, truth is, okay, your dad, there's no more subscriptions to your newspaper. That's my truth. He is so petty. And, so many, and, and I don't think it's necessarily ill-founded. Yeah. I think anyone I would be petty if they were being attacked day oh, in and yeah, day out. Yeah. Let's use, use a couple more examples here, like George W. Bush, okay, and yeah. the, uh, the war on terror and the Iraq war. Right. Right. If people, if everyone came, and obviously Donald Trump was against the war in Iraq, which looking back, he probably was right about that. Yeah. In the sense, yeah. he was certainly right in the sense that it's not something you can win. It becomes a quagmire. These, we can't right. install democracy around the world. Okay, I agree with him on that. That being said, if it were George W. Bush and people were just 
beating him mercilessly about the Iraq war, Donald Trump wouldn't have sat there and and just talked about freedom and talked no. about how much we would have said, oh, yeah. listen, okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you're all uh, uh, against me, frankly, the war in Iraq, when 84% of you supported it before we started, okay? Yeah. I forgot. Exactly. I forgot that all of you supported it until all of a sudden you didn't, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, uh, frankly, that 9 11 happened on my watch. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. Because I didn't do it. And you're lying and you're boring and you suck. Yeah. That's how he <laughs> would do it. That's exactly how he'd respond. It would be like, that's right. They were all for the war before they said they were against it. Right. Be that's, like, that finally somebody said if it. If he were Barack Obama, let's go, let's yeah, walk up through Barack <laughs> Obama when you have Next you know, scenario. And then you have yeah. the, the, the housing crisis, right? That right. happened. And obviously yeah. it started under George W. Bush, but then it really kind of came as crescendo under Obama. And largely started because of. Clinton, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have, you have uh, 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 Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac. You've been like, okay, oh, listen, it's terrible what happened with the housing market, okay? So I understand, frankly, that you're upset about it. Oh, wait, no, I don't, because you were the ones who all wanted to have affordable housing and loads, <laughs> home loads with no money down and horrible credit. Oh, I'm so sorry that you can't manage your own money. <laughs> I think that if you just go through any of love. any example of a president historically <laughs> and go through what they disdained. Yeah. Let's go to Abraham Lincoln. If Abraham Lincoln were Donald Trump, he was talking about the slaves. Yeah. Let's even go to like the Emancipation Proclamation. Just, just pick what pick it anything. He would go, okay, listen, I understand that you guys want slavery. Oh, no, wait, you're horrible. You're all <laughs> terrible human beings, okay? All men, I believe, frankly, are created equal, and you believe not that. So that's what he would do. If you were Paul Revere, he'd be like, dig, 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 dig. The things are coming. <laughs> Hey everybody, did you hear me? I said the flags are coming. I bet I know I mean the British. <laughs> They're the British, but I call them the flags because that's what I think of them, frankly. The f are coming, they're coming, and we're gonna kick their ass because they're boring. I think that there is something refreshing about that, and I don't think that the two are mutually exclusive. Hey there, YouTube viewers, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell if you're already subscribed to this channel, because that lets you know when new videos come out and they don't show up on the YouTube search feed. Also, there are videos playing in boxes here. Click one of those. Just of all the things that I just mentioned, all you have to do is one. And if you don't, I will run for the United States presidency under the 1, 1,064th percent Cherokee party. I have yet to pick my VP.